Hi, on today's Lightboard Tech Talk, we're going to talk about load balancer algorithms. Load balancers manage pools of servers and determine which server to send a client connection to based on these algorithms. So let's get started. The first algorithm I'm going to discuss is round robin. In this case, I'm going to draw my clients. And these clients are going to connect to my load balancer through a virtual service to my application servers. In this case, I'm going to draw three application servers that are active. Round robin is a very simple, straightforward algorithm. What happens here is the client makes a request to make a connection to the virtual service and the load balancer says, of all the active servers, I'm going to select the next one in line in sequence. So one, two, three. Connection one, next connection two, next connection three. Connection four, connection five, connection six, connection seven, etc. It's just going to cycle around in a static model through all the active servers. Very straightforward. This is a simple load balancing algorithm that is good for connections that are consistent in size and length. And it's good because it doesn't require a lot of resources to manage. All you do is determine which is the next server in line and send the connection to that server. The next type of load balancing algorithm we're going to discuss is called weighted. So again, I'm going to draw my clients and my clients are going to connect to my load balancer. And my load balancer again is going to manage three servers. But you know what? My three servers, because I am reusing old equipment, are a different size in terms of capacity, different CPU, different memory, maybe different network interface in terms of speed. So I need to, I want to adjust the number of connections going to the servers based on their capacity and capability. So I'm going to designate some sort of number associated with the ratio of the capacity of the server. So this is going to be a 1, this is going to be a 3, and this is going to be a 2. So how does this work? When connections come in, the load balancer is going to take all these weights of the servers and distribute it so that each server is weighted equally based on those numbers. So Connection one might come here, connection two might come here, connection three, connection four, connection five, connection six. You can see what I did here with these six connections. I made it so that the total number of connections equaled the weight, one, three, and two. And it'll keep on doing that so that there's an equal number of connections based on the weight ratio. So now my servers, based on what I mainly said was the capacity, are being given load based on the capacity that I defined. This is a great scenario when I know that my servers are not identical because I'm using old equipment, I bought new equipment, etc., and I want to distribute the load based on what I know is the capacity of those servers. The third model that I want to talk about is connections. So I'm going to draw my clients again. And I'm going to draw my load balancer. And again, I'm going to draw my pool of three servers. I'm back to servers that are of equal size to make things easy for myself and this exercise. So now, when clients make connections to the servers, Load Balancer keeps track of how many connections are currently active for each server. So for example, the first connection to come in might go to the first server, similar to Round Robin. The second connection might go to the second server, and the third connection might go to the third server. The fourth connection, where does it go? It kind of depends because 
we're making the assumption that these connections are not all the same length in terms of life. So here I had a system where I have three connections, one on each server, so the total count of each server currently is one. And I'm gonna add more connections, four, five, and six. So now the total count on each server in terms of active connections is two. Let's say that user number two, connection number two, is gone. The person is done and they go away. Well, now I have an uneven number of connections on these servers. I have two on this one, one on the center one, and two on this one. So the server that has the least number of connections currently is server number two with one connection. So I'm gonna send the next connection, connection number seven, to this server. And then time goes on, these connections are active, and all these connections three and six disappear. The people are done. So where's the next connection gonna go? Connection number eight is gonna to go to this server because it has zero versus two versus two. Now it's one, two, and two. The next connection is gonna go here, etc. In other words, the load balancer is keeping track of how many active connections are going to the servers and sending the next new connection to the server that has the lowest number of active connections. This is a great algorithm because we know that for a lot of applications like web servers and websites and things like that, the length of the connection is not consistent. It's not always a certain amount of time. It varies depending upon the user. So we can distribute the load fairly evenly using the least connections model to balance across the different servers and give each server in general an equal amount of load at any given time. So these are probably the three most common algorithms that we see, round robin, weighted, and least connections. What would I recommend for your environment? By default, I would probably go with least connections. It has the most dynamic capability to properly balance the traffic across all the servers. If you know more about your application environment and you know that your connections are equal length and is equal uh, capacity, Use round robin, it's simple, it's easy to use. If your server infrastructure has different size servers in terms of capacity, use weighted. And of course, you can do things like weighted least connections. So you can combine some of these algorithms together depending upon your environment. Hopefully this is a real quick, good overview of some basic load balancer algorithms, how they work, how the load balancer makes the decisions, and it'll be useful for you in determining how you want to load balance your applications for your environment. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe to the Kemp YouTube channel so you can see more Lightboard Tech Talk videos and other videos that we release that might be useful for you. Thank you very much. Have a great day.